This is a simple five-step trading strategy that you can use as a framework and basis to trade against and really input your own um, analysis and techniques on. I'm gonna go through these five steps in this video. You can do this on each and every trade to really get a good repeatable strategy going. Um, and I'm gonna trade Bitcoin for this example over on MEXC. So I'm gonna leave the timestamps for each step uh, down in the description below as well for each of these. Um, and then we'll go through them step by step. So first, obviously come to your trading platform. I'm gonna use MEXC for this. Um, I'll leave a link to them in the description. They give a deposit bonus. So if you deposit crypto or fiat on the platform, they'll give up, uh, I think, up to about $4,000 as a deposit bonus in your futures trading account. So if you trade futures, that's uh, a good bonus. So what we're going to go through first really is what exactly are you trading, right? So you have to decide first, what is your time horizon and trade type, right? And that's going to depend on many different things. For right now, as of making this video, we are in a space where there's actually an announcement coming out today from the Fed. Jerome Powell is going to be uh, doing a speech and the market is kind of hanging on his words to see you know, where the market might go um, over the short term. Now, this is a trading event. It's a day, trader, day tradable event where there is a specific point in time where there's a news event that will you know, change the market. And so it's probably going to either go up or down from there more volatile than it has been. So that is a specific trade event and so for me I'm going to be going into a day trade for this right for this example now if you had something else like an event or an upgrade in crypto that was maybe a month or two out then that's a different type of trade right so you have to get that trade in your head and the time horizon first before doing anything else because that's obviously going to um, give you some pointers on how long you want to be in the trade how volatile it may be and where you think the price can go and then to do your do your technical analysis on top because the price will move a lot more over a month than it will over a day and so you need to make sure that your you know your entry level your stop loss and your take profit are commensurate to how much the thing can actually move within your time horizon next is trend identification and this has two parts one is technical analysis or TA and the other is fundamental analysis um, FA or you can call it market analysis in general technical obviously relates to the specific technical patterns and areas on the chart that you want to trade around fundamental and market analysis is also really important as it's going to really give you a pointer into if you're bullish or bearish when we're talking about trend identification there are only two things that you can do you can either buy and go long or you can sell and go short, right? So there's only two things you can do with a trade, either buy or sell. Now, the only choice that you have is, do you think the market is gonna go up or down from here? That's literally it. That is what you're trying to um, you know, analyze. And so what you wanna do is the trend from a TA perspective, and then the fundamental or market analysis perspective, this is just a daily thing where you absorb what the market is doing, the sentiment, the news, and the events, um, you know, central bank policy and everything like that. That's obviously a daily thing that you need to be um, plugged into the market for. Technical analysis is a lot easier. So what we're gonna do now is just put some very simple tier on the chart. What I've done here is really seen the two consolidation patterns, as you can see on the chart, which is this one. So that, that was back uh, towards the start of the year in May. It's now August. And then we have this one, which is a really long pattern. Uh, it's been going for a few months, right? Hitting higher lows, um, and so potentially this is an uptrend, but what you can see my analysis right here is that I've done what is essentially um, a rising wedge, which isn't always bullish. In fact, it's a bearish pattern. Now you can obviously need, you need to use TA. I've got some videos on technical analysis that go through all of that uh, step by step, all the different kind of ways to analyze the chart. So I'll leave that in the description, uh, the kind of day trading guide, but essentially you want to get your technical analysis here to say, what is the pattern telling me? Um, maybe I can kind of see, am I bullish or bearish based on the technical analysis? And the really important thing is to get some areas where you think the price may get to, depending on if you're bullish or bearish. So what I'm gonna do here is see support and resistance levels. Right down here is a support level. I'm just gonna draw that on the chart right here. Um, and then I'll make that red so it stands out. So that for me, that price is a support level. That is the low price on this short trend right here. And if the price falls, I would expect it to go down to this level. Okay, so we're not making a, a kind of one way 
uh, bet yet. We're just saying if the price does fall, it will probably come down to here because that is the support level previously. Now, if the price moves up, where will it get to? Probably around this level here, which is the previous resistance. And you can see that uh, we're getting previous resistance right around here. That is where the price went up previously and got sold off and found resistance, all right? So that's really important right here that you get that price level in mind. So now we have these price levels. See that, see that resistance here? Price is right down here. So now we have the price levels. We can say these are kind of like the best and worst case scenarios for both, uh, for where the price is going to move, right? So the, the price is here. We know worst case, it's gonna go down here. And best case, if you're long, it's gonna go up here, depending if you're long and short. So you can get your TA on the chart and make sure to give yourself an idea of is the pattern that's playing out considered bullish or bearish? And also, where are the kind of levels, the price levels, both to the up and down side, where it might get to based on previous support and resistance? I skipped over a lot of TA basics there, but I've got a video about technical analysis step by step. I'll leave that in the description. But what we want now is to figure out where the momentum is and try and figure out some entries. So what I mean by that is, Again, you can do technical and fundamental. The fundamental analysis of momentum is, you know, what, what news is coming out? What do you think traders seem to be doing? Are analysts coming out and saying, we're actually more bullish, we're gonna be buying dips? Or are they saying, we think there's further to go in a downtrend or something? So all of that has to influence you. But from a technical point of view, what you wanna do here is just look at the momentum of trade. And so I use something like the MACD, but you can also use RSI or other, other indicators. There's many of them. Specifically for momentum though, I prefer MACD. So what we wanna see here is um, really a change in momentum or an area where the momentum may suddenly come out of nowhere. Now, what you can see from the price is that we've just been consolidating here. And you usually usually do consolidate into a news event because people are kind of hedging their bets and waiting to see what will happen. And the MACD is also showing us that the momentum of trade is neutral. You can see in the middle right here, you know, it's just a neutral momentum. So nothing's really happening. So we're gonna get a breakout. We're gonna get a different momentum from this for sure, based on if that news is gonna be something that you know, changes the market, which it probably will, usually does. So the momentum is telling me we're gonna get a breakout either way. We could either get bullish momentum up here or bearish momentum to the downside, but there is going to be a breakout. So that's why it's a day trade or a breakout trade. And you have to obviously take a flyer on which way you think the market is gonna, gonna go based not only on your technicals, but also on, you know, the fundamentals of where you think um, sentiment is and, and what you think the policy or the news event is going to actually change the market. Now notice I haven't even made a call yet on whether the price will go up or down because it actually doesn't matter that much. You have risk management in place that means that if you're wrong, you are wrong, you get out the trade at a small loss and then you move on to the next one. So determining whether the market will go up or down is, is the most simple thing that you have to do. Will the market go up or down from here? And then place your bet either long or short, um, depending on how you wanna trade. The most important thing though, based on your technical analysis, if it's showing you that this is fairly a bearish pattern, or if you think the sentiment in the market is gonna push us higher, you have to get your risk management in place. So what we're gonna do here is just uh, use one of these uh, indicators or drawings right here to show us exactly where the risk and reward is in the trade. So you can use a long position or a short position indicator. So I've got the long position right here and you can see you can set this right here to change your entry level. So my entry level is right at the current price. Now for me, if I'm gonna go long, I'm just getting this one off. If I'm gonna go long, where do I wanna get out at? And where do I wanna set my stop loss um, to get out of the trade if I was wrong? So if I get in here and the price moves down and I've identified kind of this price level around 20,000, like if the price gets to 20,000, I think I've essentially guessed wrong going long and it's gonna go against me. I wanna get, it, get out. So that's where you place your stop loss right there. And you can see that loss. Now for me, if the market takes this news very bullishly, I think it's gonna pop, the, the price will pop and I can very easily take profits you know, I can either let the trade run out or I can take profits around this level, which is would be getting into previous resistance levels where sellers might come in. Now, this risk reward ratio is pretty good, right? 
you can see it's actually 1.72 risk reward ratio, which is, is really good. And that would be a good trade to go into as a long. Now, if you thought, you know what, we're in a rising wedge and I don't think the news is going to be very good, then just take a short position at the exact same level. And then we just have to do our risk reward again. So where is the stop loss, right? If the price moves against you, I would say up to this level, and you can see that on the chart, like if it gets up to here, that's probably the wrong trade for me, right? The price is gonna move up against me and I've gone short, so I'm wrong. So I need to get out of that level. Now for me, if it does come down and the market takes it negatively, I'm looking at taking profits down around this level before the, the bottom resistance, but at a level where I think buyers may come in and start buying again. So that would be a trade for me to the short side. Now, as you can see here, this is essentially a good risk reward ratio for both trades, right? Because you're right in the middle of a trend because you have the, up, the upper bound and the lower bound, and we're right in the middle of that trend right now, as you can see. So, you know, you can make an argument for both. So now, because we have this strategy in place, all we're saying is we have, you know, put everything down to long or short and risk management, and that's it. Everything else, whether you want to use MACD or you want to use RSI or you want to lean on technical analysis more than fundamental analysis, it doesn't really matter. You can change that um, dependent on who you are as a trader. But if you just follow these five points, you get to a point now where you can extract all of the stress and just make a call either way, whether you want to go long or short. Risk management in place and your exit in place and then let, let the trade run out. And if you're right, more than 50% of the time with a good risk reward ratio, then you'll be a profitable trader over time. If you wanna check out that deposit bonus on MEXC, I'll leave that in the description up to $4,000 in your futures trading account, only for experienced traders. Also the other videos going through more specifics, I'll leave down in the description as well. I'm James, it's MoneyZG, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.